Hello and welcome to a new video of Learn Salesforce series. In this video, today we'll be looking into how we can install and configure Adobe Sign application into Salesforce. Also, we'll see how we can manually generate agreements and send them for the e-signature process. So let's get started. First, go to App Exchange and search for Adobe Sign. Click on the first option uh, that says Adobe Sign for e-signature. So once you are on the app page, you have to click get it now. Here it will ask where do you want to install this package. Since uh, I'll be using uh, one of my developer org for this demo. So uh, I'll choose install in production. You can confirm uh, the installation details and click confirm and install. Here it will ask to enter the account credentials. So once you log in, you will see uh, a screen where you have an option to install this package for admin for all users and for uh, specific profiles. So for now, I'll, I'll be choosing install for all users and click install. So the installation process uh, has started and uh, it would take around five to 10 minutes uh, for this com uh, for this to get completed. Now the app has been successfully installed and you can verify that by going to setup uh, in installed packages. Uh, as you can see, we do have Adobe sign uh, with version number 22.11. Now next step is to configure and connect uh, Adobe sign account with Salesforce. So to do that, we have to go to Adobe sign for Salesforce app. So you can go to app launcher first, click view all. At the end, you will see Adobe sign for Salesforce. Click on that. Now go to Adobe sign admin tab. It will automatically open a new tab uh, with the Salesforce setup wizard. So this is basically a two step process uh, with step one is to link your Adobe sign account to Salesforce. So for that, we have to click sign into Adobe. Here it will ask you to enter the Adobe sign account credentials. So let me do that. Click continue. Now it will ask you to log in to Salesforce again uh, to complete the authentication process. So let's just enter the Salesforce account credentials again. So as you can see, step one is uh, completed and uh, we have successfully authorized uh, our Adobe account. Now uh, click on next. So step two is to basically enable Adobe sign automatic status updates. This is uh, basically necessary to retrieve and display the latest status of Adobe sign agreements in Salesforce. So for instance, uh, whenever an agreement is sent out for signature or whenever a recipient signs an agreement, so uh, the status of the agreements automatically update into Salesforce. So uh, for that to work, we have to keep this setting uh, to enable. And if this setting is not enabled, uh, the automatic status update uh, won't work. So keep that in mind. So click on enable and we have to uh, allow the access for it. So click allow. Uh, 
now uh, step 2 is also completed uh, now click next so now the setup uh, is completed so we have uh, successfully configured our adobe sign account with salesforce now you can uh, click done Uh, now we will see how we can generate agreements and send them for the e-signature process so for that we have to go to adobe sign for salesforce app again so from app launcher click view all go to adobe sign for salesforce app and now uh, you can go to uh, agreements tab and click new So here you have a bunch of options uh, to select from. So first is to select the recipients. So uh, we can um, set the recipients as contacts, lead, user, group or email. So for now I am just using the email and uh, using my uh, email address. So I'll be receiving uh, the doc agreement uh, for signature uh, in this email address. So next step is for the identity verification. So we'll keep all recipients at, as email. In the details you can enter uh, the subject and the message of uh, the agreement. So for now I'll be using Adobe sign test agreement. And for the message, I'm using test agreement. You can also relate uh, a particular agreement with account opportunity or a contract. So for now, I'm just leaving these as blank. And uh, under the file section, uh, we have an option to upload uh, our document. So I have already created one sample uh, document with uh, some um, uh, basic fields uh, to fill from so basically we would want the signer to fill the details and sign that particular document so I'll choose uh, upload that from my computer so uh, at the end you will see a checkbox for preview and add signatures field so check that and uh, click next So as you can see, uh, we do have now a preview of the uh, document we have uploaded and we want this document to get signed by the recipient. So uh, I have uh, entered four fields, a name, email, phone and address. So basically we want these fields to get to fill uh, from the signer and uh, uh, we want this document signed back into Salesforce. So I'll add some uh, fields, uh, drag and drop some fields uh, to fetch the data. So uh, on the data fields, I'm using a basic text input. And for signature, go to signature fields and drag and drop the signature field tag. So now it looks good. Uh, now we have uh, successfully uh, entered the tags and now click on send. Click OK. So the agreement has been uh, 
out for signature successfully as you can see from here the status is out for signature and now let me just open my mailbox and check for an email so i have received the email uh, from adobe sign for the signature process so let me open that and as a signer uh, we have to click review and sign so let me just open this link in a new tab so this will be uh, the view of the signer so we have four options to input the data and one signature tag so let me just input some of the test data so to complete the signature process uh, we have to click to sign button so now uh, the agreement has been signed successfully. Now let's just go back to Salesforce and check for the agreement status. As you can see here, the agreement status has been changed from out for signature to signed. Also, you'll be able to see uh, the signed PDF. And uh, you can download the uh, signed PDF from here. So as you can see, we have all the uh, input data that the signer has added uh, with the signature. So yeah, in this way, you can send uh, agreements uh, for the e-signature process. Uh, thank you for watching.